Just kidding. Can't drive it. No motor. a little rusty maybe I should put some lube on it what do you guys think I think I should just hose this down with WD-40 just in case you didn't know that's a big no-no oxygen and fuel should only mix at the porch because when you put WD-40 on those they go boom All right, so yesterday we were messing around with this motor here. This came out of my, well, let's begin with the beginning. This is my motor grader I purchased about a year and a half ago. And it's a pre, it's in pretty good shape overall. It's a little dirty, we're gonna pressure wash it, clean it up. Everything on this motor grader is just near perfect working condition. It's an oldie, but it's a goodie. And except for one thing, when the guy sold it to me, he told me there was just some minor problems with the motor. Turns out the motor was froze up. Uh, water had gotten into it the pre through either the pre-combustion chambers or I, what I think happened is probably the muffler. Uh, the little can on the muffler was let off, you know, left off and it just filled the whole motor up full of water. Um, there's the bell housing. We pulled this motor out, used the old loader, um, and this sucker was heavy. I ain't joking. But, so these, as you can see, we've got some, some real damage on them. And, uh, I, I mean, this is all superficial. Everything seems to, you know, the wrist pins are fine. Uh, e even after we pounded this one out, um, everything looks pretty good. We're co of course going to swap out these rings and we're going to put new, uh, rod bearings in, but that's about it for the lower end so far. Oh, and, and probably, I don't know if you can see in there or not. It looks to be, let me get you in there. There we go. It looks to be, uh, like the lifters to me are going to need to be replaced. Uh, but we're going to pull them out. We're going to clean them up. If they're not hydraulic, maybe we can just clean them up and reuse them. I don't know. But uh, so, and John John's working on the head on this thing. Uh, that was in pretty messed up shape too. Um, so hopefully we can get this thing working. But the first, the first task at hand is we're going to have to pull these pistons out. And uh, they're, they're locked in there pretty tight. So this piston here, I was able to get out with some fire and uh, use my settling torch. I heated this, heated this up pretty good. You know, of course I didn't leave it on the piston for too long and burn a hole right through that sucker in a flash. So, uh, but we got it, I got it hot. I got everything smoking and, and then I was able to drive this piston out and I, you know, it looks like I'm gonna be able to save it. And if we have that kind of luck with the other five, then then that's fantastic because I don't wanna have to buy more parts for this than I have to. Um, if we can just clean those up, re-ring them, hone the cylinders, I'm gonna be thrilled. So, all right, well, let's get started. That may be too big of a tip. Usually when I give tips, I don't like them to pop. All right, so I played that acetylene torch around there for a minute or two, a couple minutes, and uh, got it good and warm. I just got the propane torch on there. There's no danger of hurting it with a propane torch. It's just, it's not really getting that hot. Just been hitting it with a little WD-40, hoping to get some of that in there. 
Yeah, I know it looks a little harsh, but it's about the only thing I can get a smart enough whack with. We tried blocks of wood and it just wasn't doing the trick. So. Didn't budge. All right, I just budged it. And then I came from the front and I hit it back. So we're gonna try to move it back some more. I think I felt it move. You can feel it more than you can. There it is. See that? That wasn't loose before. Of course, that bearing's slight now there. And uh You know, this thing wouldn't come out when it was hot. I let it cool down almost completely. Not even warm to the touch anymore. But that process of heating it up, that's what it needed. And uh, okay. Huh. I think a little honing is gonna get that out of there. That's what I think. I can feel just a little bit of play. Yeah, just a little bit. I don't know if that's with intolerances or not. We'll have to take it someone to, to someone that knows better than myself. No, but seriously, this thing's in pretty good shape. We're gonna get this puppy cleaned right up and let me see here what's going on with that oh you got to push it in yeah we're gonna get this baby cleaned up i mean it's got a fully enclosed cab we got a fan we got windshield wipers this looks like a air conditioner hell it's even complete with a wasp nest Ugh, hope those babies aren't awake and uh yeah i mean it's just we're gonna put the pressure washer to this thing and, um, this is going to be great for the winter time. I'll tell you what, we're going to get these roads plowed and, uh, have no idea what this thing does, but it does something. Pretty cool machine. All right, folks, that's it for right now. Anyways, if you like this kind of content and I got a ton of other kind of stuff on here too, as well, consider subscribing and, uh, if you would please hit that thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching.